Hi friends, uh, in this small video, we will show you how to replace the keyboard as well as uh, the LCD of Lenovo G550 uh, notebook. As you can see, this is the Lenovo G550 notebook. The first thing that you need to do is to remove the battery before disassembling any laptop. Just need to unlock the battery here. Then you will see these four screws. You have to just unscrew those screws. These are the screws which are holding the panel, which is holding the keyboard, as well as the LCD of this notebook. A set of four screws which you need to remove. Then you just need to reverse the laptop, just very gently. You have to use a very Just need to use a small screw to remove the panel that is there. So the small uh, panel has to come out for the keyboard as well as the. Just do it very gently because uh, you have these uh, small connectors as you can see over here. This one and this connector. So if you pull it off with a lot of force, this thing might just get cut this particular cable so be very very sure what you're doing just need, just need to remove uh, this particular cable before going ahead you just need to very gently remove the cable and this thing comes off if you want to change the keyboard you just need to remove these four screws that we have here these there will be a cable connecting the keyboard and the bottom so be very sure this is you just need to remove the keyboard cable and that's it the keyboard comes out as you can see you can use another keyboard and then again refit this particular keyboard back to its position now let's see if uh, you would want to change your LCD panel what you need to do you have these uh, small cables which are coming out these hinges are basically holding the LCD screen which needs to be you know brought out of the base of the laptop so you just need to unscrew this one screw here keep the screw on one side so that you recognize which screws are where and this another screw which is here there will be these two screws here just need to there are these two more screws which you need to remove for removing the hinges which are holding the hinges from the base All these hinges base screws you have to keep on one side and when you this thing just comes out as you can see here. Now you just need to remove the screws over here on the LCD panel there are these small rudders that are there which you just need to remove and you will see the screws exposed I 
need to remove the screws of the LCD. all these screws on one side so that you can distinguish between different screws set of screws it's the last screw that you have to unscrew here you just need to use this thing to separate the sandwiched LCD between the two panels as you can see the entire panel just comes out do it very gently so that now as you can see the LED is exposed and you just need to remove the There are these two screws. There will be markings here like this, as you can see, which will uh, uh, distinguish whether you have to put screw here or here. So when there is a marking like this, you have to put the screw here. And the same way uh, here too, there is a small marking over here. After removing these two screws, the entire LED comes out as you can see. So we can just reverse the LED. It's basically a LED that we have to replace. So we just need to very gently remove the cable. It's very firmly glued to the screen. So be very very gentle on removing the just need to remove this cable and the cable comes out as you can see. Let's remove it here. And you have these uh, screws that you have to remove so that you can replace the LED Same way with the left side, we have already done the right side unscrewing the LCD. Same way with the left side, as you can see we are removing the screws of the hinges which are holding basically the LCD so that we can replace it with the new LED. So here it is, you can keep it here and this is your LED which you need to replace. Thanks a lot friends, this is a short tutorial on how to change the LED and the keyboard of the Lenovo G550. You can reverse the process by uh, watching the tutorial once again, so that I need not again show you how to reassemble the notebook. Thanks a lot and do comment if you have any queries.